we will see the part of the session when we made the distributions, the deli deliveries. And Hain Aylan. This is positioning. This is positioning, very important. You know, when, when and, and where to be. And this is distribution. We start distribution only one, once someone opened the, the side behind the, the mannequin, uh, then he, he need to play immediately to that side. You see the two guys staying behind the mannequins. When they open, he need to play there. And I attacking him. يحاول يوزع حق الاختيار الصح بعد ما يطلع اللاعب من خلف المانيكان. And then there is one more kind when both guys are on the same side and when they both running then he don't play. When one of them running, when his player running and he's alone, he giving him a ball like this. Yes, you see now. الحين الحين التمرير لازم بعد ما يجري اللاعب قبل ما يجري اللاعب مفروض ما يمر له. كله تحت ضغط المدرب. This is the same exercise slow motion with Rajkovic and the reserve goalkeeper. أيضا هذا تدريب slow motion بهدوء مع حارس أعتقد منتخب صربيا هذا مع الاحتياط ماله. It is very good. For coordination between the people and communication, because you don't need to tell them uh, to speak; they must to speak. هذا تدريب حق التوافق في نفس الوقت حق التواصل ولازم يكون التواصل بين الحراس. This is the Spanish Football Federation uh, session. Uh, I finish. I finish three different licenses: goalkeeper licenses. For uh, from Spanish Football Federation, from Austrian Football Federation, and I create the one for Serbian Football Federation. طبعا حصة كانت للاتحاد الإسباني وحصة للاتحاد النمساوي وهو عمل حصة للاتحاد الصربي. هذه الحصة ماله هو أعتقد. You see, that's the simple reaction. هذا. Reaction بشكل بسيط. ردة yeah. فعل بشكل بسيط. Just simple reaction, but goalkeepers they don't know where where to react. حارس المرمى ما يعرف وين. That's that's me working with Michel Angel España. Uh, and the goal is just to wait the right moment to have a good timing to react. هذا الحارس ينتظر الوقت المناسب عشان يرمي الكرة لفوق ويستلم الكرة من المدرب. هو اللي في المرمى يعني هو اللي يقوم بدور المرمى. I have two balls and he has one. الحين هو مع كرة واحدة المدرب والحارس كرتين. هاي دورة في الاتحاد. He explaining me that I don't need to catch the ball that I can just push the ball from me. مو بشرط يمسك الكرة الحارس المسددة من قبل المدرب ممكن يدفعها مرة ثانية إليه. Now this is the simple reaction. I just need to get up and catch the ball. الحين هاي ايضا رياكشن بسيط ردة فعل بسيطة ينتبه للكرة ويرجعها حق المدرب. This is the reaction for four goalkeepers. هاي ردة الفعل حق اربع حراس مرمى. You must to follow with your eyes. You must to follow all the time the ball and movement of the ball in order to to say. The Harris is following the ball with his eyes and with his movements and with his body. This is the 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 reaction with the small balls. This is the reaction with the small balls. This is the reaction when you are on on your on your knees and they using the small balls. This is when you are on your knees and they are using the small balls. Of course, if you can catch that, that's the perfect one. If you can catch it. 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 
This is reaction on a goal. هاي ردة الفعل داخل المرمى. Double double save, double save, left and right. حركتين حركة تصدي وتصدي آخر يعني حركة مركبة. That's the reactions. Just goalkeeper see the the situation in front of him, but player he don't know when the ball will come. أيضا هنا يتفاجأ الحارس بالكرة يتفاجأ فيها بالكرة. And here we starting to 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 work on a distribution. You need to hit one of these two goals. أيضا في توزيع. نحط نحط هدف. And there is a forward movement and backward movement. حركة الأمام وحركة للخلف. First you are static and you trying to score. Yes. وحاول تسجل في المرمى. You are static, and then later you are dynamic. You moving backward or moving forward. وبعدين تتحرك للأمام أو للخلف وتلمس الكرة وتحاول تسدد في المرمى. Okay. This is my goalkeeper school here in United States. B1. I have a star in the United States of America. We have one guy who speaks Arabic. His name is Rami. He is from Egypt. في حارس هني اسمه رامي من. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't this session. موجود هني من مصر الشقيقة رامي. Yeah. Now you will see one analysis of the situation. I don't know what is this on the screen. Do you see that red lines? Yeah, this not for you. This some somebody here in part space. Okay. Okay, but, but you it, see, a picture is clear. talk about communication. Communication is very important part of uh, of goalkeeping because in the same time you need to be ready to move, to be always in emotion, to speak, and to react. يتكلم عن أهمية التواصل هني وهذا عدم وجود التواصل ينتج عنه مثل هاي الأخطاء. The, our speech always interact uh, uh, interrupt uh, our movement, our motion. Usually, people when they want to speak, they sit or they stand in order to speak. They have a lot of problems. The goalkeepers they have a lot of problems. You know, most of you have that problem when the goalkeeper uh, he's speaking all the time, speaking, 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 and then once when he need to say something. Uh, he don't say nothing. He need to say just mine, and he don't say that. الكثير منا يعني عنده هاي المشاكل مع حراسة يتكلم الحارس يتكلم يتكلم كثير في المباراة لكن اللحظة اللي تحتاج أن يتكلم بشكل دقيق وبشكل حاسم ما يتكلم ويعني يتكلم مثل هاي الحالة. Yes. Okay, that's what I want to show you about the about the present time, and I would like to say something about the future. Uh, previously... Previously reduced solely to to its parade parades uh, and the prevention of goals. I mean dives. You know the goalkeeper has been required to have a completely new skill profile. And the and the latest since the advance of the ball possession football and flat game uh, construction uh, construction. Yeah, I think that the players today in the midfield. Yes, coach. Is firmly integrated in the build-up game by almost all teams and serves as one additional surplus player. Therefore, the modern goalkeeping demands above all a clean passing game, 
under opposing pressure and excellent game overview. اليوم حارس المرمى بيشارك بشكل قوي بشكل دقيق وبشكل عميق في البناء من الخلف وفي مهارته في دقة التمرير وفي البناء من الخلف. And we will see statistics. Now I will explain that about Kronholm. Uh, you see, this is the uh, hot maps of, of the goalkeepers, where they moving and where they passing, from which position they passing. You see, this is the Polarsbeck. Uh, this is the goalkeeper of Hamburger Sportverein. And mm -hmm. all other goalkeepers, you see, where is Ter Stegen here? Here is Onana from Ajax. This is Neuer. This is Ederson. This is Kobel. This is Kronholm. You see him on, on the picture with me. He is a Chicago Fire goalkeeper. And he is after Polarsbeck or even before Polarsbeck, the better one, 62%, I think. Uh, this is Ederson. Ederson in season 2018-2019. This is Ederson in season 2019-2020. This is Berkey and Courtois. Here you have uh, all distributions of Claudio Bravo, all short distributions and percentage of his long distributions. Uh, it is very uh, symptomatic that all the big clubs, they want the goalkeepers who are able to keep the ball in their possession. الإشارات الحمراء اللي على يمين الشاشة هنا وين تواجد الحارس خلال المباراة ويبغي يوصل الفكرة أن بدت الحارس يخرج من برا المنطقة بشكل كبير. هاي والإشارات اللي على يسار الإشارات اللي على اليسار عطى مثل برافو في مانشستر سيتي تمريراته القصيرة دقيقة 99% وتمريراته الدقيقة والدقيقة الطويلة 36% إذا الحارس بدأ يشارك في اللعب بشكل أكبر. Possession is extremely important. إذا إذا مشاركة الحارس في اللعب استوى أكثر من السابق بشكل كبير. And now you can see here, this is the uh, contacts with the ball and how many contacts each of the goalkeepers have. For example, this guy from, from Hamburger Sportverein, Julian Polarsbeck, he has 60 contacts with the ball. Manuel Neuer, 37.38 contacts. Ter Stegen, 34. Burki 39, 38, Onana 30, 32, and there is Kenneth Kronholm with 62. And you will see the, the style of game of this Polarsbeck, for example. This is the video. You will take a look how he how he play and how high he staying. اتصال يبغى يشرح لكم اتصال الكره بال بال بالحارس وتواجدها مع الحارس اصبح كبير جدا في المباراه هذه مثل هاي مثل هذا الحارس اصبح عنده 62% يمتلك الكره في قدمه من نسبه تواجده في المباراه لذلك الحارس اليوم او حارس المستقبل تتواجد مع تتواجد مع الكره بشكل كبير جدا شوف الحارس وين يطلع Look, look where he is. Look now. You will Harris when he heard a new. It woke up in most of my big one actor. Musharak and Harris would water. Yeah, the core of check it up. But here the whole defensive line is very responsible. It's not only a goalkeeper. ايضا المدافعين يتحملون المسؤوليه هنا وليس فقط حارس المرمى يعني هاي يتدربوا عليها بشكل كبير شوف الحارس وين and to achieve to achieve this, to achieve this you need you need to work a lot on a session on a training with the group of the players not only with the goalkeepers لذلك التدريبات لازم تكون جماعيه وليس فقط بين مدرب الحراس والحارس المرمى شوف الحارس وين يكون موجود. You see how many times he play in the middle. 
شوفوا كم مره لعب في النص في العمق and before it was forbidden you see they scored the goal now سابقا سابقا كانت مثل هاي التمريرات ممنوعه before it was forbidden to play in the middle سابقا for example ممنوعة. when i was a goalkeeper it was like strictly forbidden i cannot play in the middle يوم هو كان يلعب حارس مرمى كان مستحيل يعمل التمريره في العمق Okay. Despite the tactical advantages of the goalkeeper chain, it is still goalkeeper chain mean that when you are in the middle, two goal, two central defenders they are on the sides, and mm. these three guys they create the chain. This is the chain. Uh, <laughs> it is still. <laughs> تشوف السايدات تفتح عشان تستقبل التمريره منه وما يلعب كور طويله كثير. It is still hardly used at all in its extreme form. Uh, the risk benefit factor plays a role here because there is a more risk than a benefits from that, you know. لكن لكن هناك خطوره اكيد لكن هناك فوائد كثيره اذا تمتلك حارس بالمواصفات Many coaches currently see the added value of a goalkeeper chain as too low to sacrifice a large amount of training time because this is required. Uh, you cannot sacrifice that much time just for that. كثير من المدربين هيد كوتش يضحون باوقات الحارس مع مدرب الحراس عشان الحارس يتدرب مع الفريق بشكل اكبر. It is also clear of course uh, if the high goalkeeper chain leads to a ball loss or a bad pass in the game structure conceding a goal is usually inevitable. والحارس جدا اليوم مهم ان يكون في الخط الخلفي يمتلك هذه المهارات اللي هو التمرير من الخلف والبناء من الخلف. Okay. I would like also and I also believe that there will be a few more teams in the future who will experiment with a high goalie chain. Uh, now that the classic role of central defender has been blown up uh, by our head coaches and uh, the goalkeeper will become even more of a focus. In the meantime, modern goalkeepers have all been trained so well in the football that they can perform the high goalkeeping chain from a technical point of view. It will ultimately be a question of whether the coaches can profitably bring the advantages of the goalkeeper chain into the game in the terms of position play and game structure but at the same time they can retain flexibility اليوم هو مؤمن ايمان كامل ان الهيد كوتش المدرب العام بيعتمد كثير بشكل كبير على حارس المرمى وعلى الاعتماد على حارس المرمى لذلك يجب علينا مدربين الحراس نطور هذا الحارس ويكون متواجد مع الفريق بشكل اكبر. Okay, this is the almost we are close to the end. Uh, this is my goalkeeper Rajković Predrag. He he was a champion of Europe and champion of the world uh, with U19 with the selection of the players who were older than him, one year older. He won the European Championship, and he win with 95. He win uh, the World Championship. That mean uh, in 2015 on New Zealand. Darbal مدرب Alexander وكان وخذ أفضل حارس في العالم تحت 19 سنة بالرغم إنه كان أصغر عمره من الحراس الموجودين معه. Uh, all three of them, they are very good goalkeepers. They were, they win the World Cup. He's in Getafe in Spain. He was in Manchester United and in Torino, uh, Vanya Milinkovic-Savic. And he was in uh, Red Star 
uh, now he's in France and he's at the moment best uh, best goalkeeper of Europe with a number of shutouts. And and this is him. وموزعين على الدوريات الأوروبية واحد في إسبانيا واحد في مانشستر يونايتد واحد في فرنسا يعتبروا من أفضل الحراس على مستوى أوروبا. Yeah, this is him when he was a kid. You know, it is a group of goalkeepers in national national team. I think you visit our national center in Stara Pazova. Uh, Igor told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. هذين yeah. نحن الحراس اجتمعنا فيهم في صربيا. وسوينا ياهم حصة تدريبية وهذه كانوا يومهم صغار. Yeah. And you see here now, this is uh, before coronavirus. Uh, Rajkovic has 20 matches and have 10 clean sheets. And this is the five biggest league in the in the Europe. This is Porto. الحارس هذا من 20 مباراة عنده 10 مباريات كلين شيت ولا هدف وفي يعني الدوريات الخمس الأفضل هو الأفضل على مستوى الدوريات الخمس الأفضل في أوروبا. Yeah. You see there is Oblak also he's from Slovenia. Slovenia have also two great goalkeepers Khandanovic uh, from Inter and uh, Oblak. From Atletico Madrid, Oblak is probably at the moment the most expensive goalkeeper in the world. Yes, Oblak from Slovenia, موجود من أفضل الحراس ومع هندك حارس أنتر ميلان أيضا هذه من سلوفينيا ويعتبره من أفضل الحراس على مستوى العالم. هذه كلهم من يغزلافيا سابقا. For the end, we will see Rajkovic saves. هو يبغي رأيكم لقطات من الحارس اللي دربه. Zacharias, can you see that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything good. This is all the saves from the French League. French League, huh? Yes. And he he I also wins the he also win Paris Saint Germain in, in Paris. Uh Against Keylor Navas, he played and he he was the best on the field, you know. فاز على باريس سان جيرمان ويعتبر من أفضل الحراس الدوري الفرنسي. الحارس يعتبر يعني هو مدربنا وهو ساق المهارته. Very characteristic for him. He he not afraid of nothing. من أح من أفضل مميزات إنه ما يعني شجاع وما يخاف. You will see the the most important moments of the World Cup and the European Championship. We play against France and against Brazil, and there was a corner kicks for France and for Brazil. And in the last minute, he go for that corner kicks and he catch both times. من لقطات المهمة بالنسبة له لما لعبوا مع البرازيل في نهايات الشباب كأس العالم كان التقطهم بكل شجاعة وبكل ثقة. And. Pay attention on his technique. He he's not spectacular. He's very simple. Technique technique mana maharat al fania daiman basita ma yhabi tfalsaf al technique mana.
Sometimes he don't catch the balls because most of the times he don't catch the balls because today's balls is not easy to catch at all. أكثر الأوقات هو ما يحب يمسك الكرة لأن وجهة نظره أن اليوم كرة الكرة سريعة جدا فمو بأي واحد يقدر يمسكها ويغامر في مسكها. He's efficient. He's maybe not so nice, but he's efficient. That's the guy, what I show him, the exercise, if you remember, when he's standing up. Uh, now he's 25. Yeah. Are you finished, coach? Yes. Yes, this is Last this one. is the very end of my lecture. Okay, Thank you for listening and I'm ready to hear your questions if you have it. Okay. Then Ivan who and the Babad الأعمال فبنفتح باب الأسئلة تقريبا ثلاثين دقيقة فلو سمحتوا اللي عنده سؤال ما يفتح الميكروفون بس يرفع أيده أوكي كان يستوب ستوب سكرين كوت كان يستوب سكرين سكرين كوتش ألكسندر كان يستوب كان يستوب شيرينج Oh, yes, of course, of course. Sorry. Okay, now I see you, finally. Yes, sir. Okay, Hello, guys. Fadl, Captain Fatha, look at Captain Ashraf, Fadl. Captain Ashraf, open the microphone, what's your name? Captain Ashraf, okay. Yes. Okay. Hi, salam alaikum. Salam. Do, do you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. My name is Saif, not Ashraf. This is my wife account. Sorry. Uh, I'm a Tunisian uh, goalkeeper coach. Uh, I was a goalkeeper uh, previously. I'm a football trainer. I'm a PE teacher. I was coaching in Al Wahda Club here in Abu Dhabi. Then, uh, and uh, today I'm in with regional sports in Abu Dhabi in UAE, Emirate Arab Emirate. So, uh, my remarks are about uh, the fitness of the coach, the, the, the goal. So uh, today is, I think, uh, less acrobatics and more fitness with the fitness coach of the, of the whole team. Then with me, with the goalkeeper coach, I think we, we have to focus more on the technique. So for, for example, if we are talking about endurance, force, speed, endurance and uh, strength and speed and everything, it will be with the group. When he will come to me to make a, a reaction speed, a dec a fast decision, all this small and uh, character characteristic technique will be with me. So it's more specific with me. And the general fitness, general uh, work will be with the team. I don't know if you agree about that. Yes, yes, yeah. I agree, okay. I agree. And, uh, uh, sorry, I will finish and then uh, because I, okay. don't, I want okay. to let other people talk. So uh, about the repetition, you said that sometimes they d do more than 10 or 12 repetitions. As you said, it would be uh, uh, very dangerous for the goalkeeper if you will make too much repetition because we, he will get injured, especially on the end of the session. When you show the goalkeeper who, was, uh, who had the knee injury and uh, he's uh, exhausted in the end of the session, this is very, very wrong. wrong. So we have to focus on a specific technique, specific exercises, and three, four, five, maybe six repetition will be more than enough, if it will be a right one. Uh, to avoid injury, first of all, and to gain, uh, don't waste our time, uh, second thing. 
the role of the the, the, the role of the goal when we will play about with feet with the defense as you say it we we have to work as a team especially with the defenders i have for example in the team six or eight defenders in the whole group of course we have to uh, cons consider a part of a session every week or every i don't know every two weeks to play with the uh, uh, with the defenders only with feet contribute contribution with the goalkeeper under pressure sometimes or most of the time the ball will be will be coming from the right side the goal the goalie will ha have to change the direction to avoid the pressure coming from the right side and he will give the pass on the left side and the opposite sometimes and really done in the uh, midfield but it's very dangerous so we as you said we have to focus on this with the defenders it will be improve it will improve the tech, the feet technique with for the goalie and with the nice communication in the day of the match i think he will be able to absorb some uh, pressure with the defense defense and it will be a one more player for the defense um, I, I, i'm very i'm very happy that you that you take the word please go captain safe um, لو كان السؤال عميق وديب افضل ممكن تترجم لنا بشكل ملخص لو سمحت اوكي اي ويل ترانزيت مستر الكسندر انا yeah. تكلمت على اللياقه البدنيه قلت له انه اللياقه البدنيه سابقا كانت اكروباتكس وجمباز مثل ما قلت وحركات يعني في يومنا هذا اللياقه البدنيه اذا تكلمنا على المداومه والقوه والسرعه تقدر تكون مع المحضر البدني الفريق مع المجموعه كامله ثم معايا انا كمدرب حراس اللياقه البدنيه الخاصه او سبيسيفيك لازم تكون على قوه سرعه ردد الفعل القوه العضليه المهارات الخاصه بحارس المرمى انما اذا تكلمنا على الاشياء العامه تقدر تكون مع المحضر البدني للفريق ونقص أش طبعا الاشياء هذه القديمه اللي هو تكلم عليها اكروباتكس وغيره آه ثاني شيء قال هو انه اذا انا نحب نكسب حارس الحارس المرمى كلاعب زياده في الدفاع مع المدافعين لازم نخصص انا كمدرب الفريق قسط من من الحصه التدريبيه سواء كان في مره في الاسبوع او مرتين او مره في الاسبوعين يكون في فريق عندي سته او ثمانيه او عشره مدافعين في المجموعه كامله نلعبهم مع الحارس، الحارس يلعب برجليه معظم الاوقات فور سيفتي ياخذ الكره من الجهه اليمين يغيرها اليسار او من اليسار يغيرها اليمين ونادرا ما يحط الكره في العمق لانه هذه فيها خطر، اذا انا ندرب الحارس بالطريقه هذه يتحسن في حركه رجليه يتحسن في مهارات رجليه وباش يساعد الدفاع ويكون عندي انا كمدرب مش مدرب حراس مدرب فريق كانه مدافع زياده في الخط الخلفي للملعب لانه انا المحارس متعود على اللعب برجليه تحت الضغط هذا هو قدمت نفسي كنت قدمت نفسي للمدرب قلت له انا اسمي سيف الدين تونسي انا مدرس تربيه بدنيه مدرب حراس لاعب كره قدم سابق حارس مرمى سابق دربت في نادي الوحده هنا في ابو ظبي في الامارات والحين درب في ريجيونال سبورتس الفريق الاول فيرست تيم اوف ريجيونال سبورتس ابو ظبي انا الحين معهم شكرا يو كاتش يو كاتش هيز بوينت اي ثينك اي جاست وونت تو ساي اي لايك ذا كومنت اند اي اي ابسولوتلي اجري اباوت ذات ذا فيرست ثينك you need to be like a goalkeeper you need to be more uh, orientated to play with the teammates there is no way there is no way that they will ever learn to play with you if you don't create that situation in a session you need to work that i will say on daily basis not on a on a weekly basis but more on daily basis you know every day a little bit maybe just 10 minutes of that but you need to have a 10 minutes of group session where you with your teammates from defense will play if you want to create the game like HSV have like Hamburger Sportsverein have then you need to work that because all of them they are responsible in every moment of the game not only a goalkeeper because when the one of the players make mistake they will concede because goalkeeper is too high doesn't matter about the the conditional coach um, i partly agree with that i partly agree with that i mean the goalkeeper must to be uh, more uh, more endurance because you see how how much movement he has during the game 
it's not anymore the the goalkeeper goalkeeper like we know you know sitting in the in a in a box and don't doing nothing now goalkeeper needs to open on one side they need to run on another side you spend a lot of energy uh just running just opening just positioning yourself for uh, uh to to make easier for a teammates to play and because of that you need to be uh, aware of that that you need to dis- uh, uh, develop his goalkeeping part, defensive part, explosive part, agility, and all these things. But you cannot also forget to work on his endurance, in basic endurance, not not to work like uh, like they work before. They work power in end- power and endurance because that will kill your speed. That will kill your uh, explosivity because every time you work if you if, if this is if this is the, uh, the here is the bad uh, bad form of the goalkeeper and here is the top form of the goalkeeper and you are somewhere in the middle and if you work on uh, endurance in speed endurance in speed you actually go this direction you don't go here for a best for a top goalkeepers they need to be quick and they need to go from here, they need to go to the pure speed, pure speed. Clear, clear, thank you. Yeah. Okay. الإجابة عن الكابتن سيف يتكلم عن الحالة البدنية الآن تختلف عن الحالة البدنية سابقا لحارس المرمى على حسب ما تشاهدونه من تطوير الحارس وتفاصيل اللي تحدث للحارس خلال المباراة. اليوم الحارس محتاج قال لفظ جميل قال يعني البيور البيور اندورنس يعني التحمل الطبيعي ماله الحارس اليوم حالات اللعب اللي تمر عليه في المباراه تستوجب بعض التدريبات الخاصه وليست السابقه اللي ممكن تقتله كحارس مرمى كابتن سيف عندك شيء اخر شكرا بارك الله فيك ثانك يو ثانك يو كوتش ثانك حد عندي سؤال كابتن زكريا مين معاي؟ كابتن عادل نعم كابتن السلام عليكم عليكم السلام الله يبارك فيك كابتن هو السؤال على اساس انه هو دلوقتي بالنسبه للحارس تكرار كثير مش مطلوب بالنسبه له بس ده في المستوى الحراس الكبار على مستوى فريق اول او سؤال كابتن ما سمعتك زين بعد اذنك كابتن على اساس انه هو بيتكلم على سنه التكرار بالنسبه للحارس على سنه ما يكون كثير يعني تكون <تصفيق> ثلاث مرات و اسمعك ويركز فوق على السرعه وعلى الرشاقه بتاعت الحارس وكذا لكن بالنسبه للحراس الصغار انا محتاج للمهاره اكثر حاجه فبالنسبه للمهاره يعني لما نجي مثلا الوقت هو اوتوماتيكلي يعني يكون هو لسه متعلم شيء يعني على سنه انت لما تديه الحركه من انت تكون عندك عدد فبتكون شيء المثال اللي صعب بس بدنا نعرف شو الحل اللي شكرا كوتش الكسندر اباوت ذا ريبيتيشن ان ذا سكول سكيلز فور يور تيتش اند ليرن ذا جول كيبر ان سكولز بيكوز ذي دون هاف اني سكيلز انتل ناو وات اباوت ذا يو مين يوث يوث يس وات اباوت ذا ريبيتيشن How many repetition? I we think it's not enough four or three on the stop and three because the repetition is the value in the youth. What do you think? No, just I will not say that there is a limit about the youth and development. There is a two phases, two different phases. When we speak about the competition and professional environment, this is one approach. And when we speak about the youth and development, it is another approach. Uh, but also, uh, you always trying. You always trying to be very similar to the professionals. But also, you you can adapt your sessions. Instead of doing, for example, ten repetitions all at once, you can work like. Uh, three times or four times three, you know, four times three repetitions instead of, or three times four repetitions, you know, instead of repeat something, uh, you can put the goalkeepers one after another 
and then one goalkeeper working three times, then another goalkeeper working three times, then the third goalkeeper working three times, you know, and that's how they will all work and they will not be that much uh, tired, you know. Okay, good. The, 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 the point is that they work quality repetitions, quality repetitions. The point is that they, whenever they make a repetition, that they are satisfied with that what they do. مهم جدا كابتن عادل يقول تفرق بين المنافسات والتطوير مرحلة المنافسات مرحلة التطوير لكن هو في موضوع الريبتيشن يحب التجزيء ويحب انك تشوف في هذا الريبتيشن في نجاح للمهارة عند الحارس نوعية التكرار هي المهمة ممكن تجزء التكرار ممكن تخلي تدوير بين الحراس لكن طبعا التكرار مهم جدا وما يقدر يشتغل عنه خاصة في مرحلة التطوير يعني هو معاك I can, for example, I can make with uh, Rajkovic, I can make 10 getting up from the, uh, from the sitting position. You know, he have enough energy to do 10. But I don't want the slow repetitions. I don't want repetitions which are not explosive. I don't want repetitions which are not quality, good movement, you know. I want to merge all these things together. I want to merge a quality with a speed and focus. في التمرين اللي سواه اللي هو النهوض للحارس اللي دربه وحصل على كأس العالم كان يقدر يسوي عشر تكرارات لكن هو ما يبغي التكرارات فقط بإرهاق وبتعب لا يبا نوعية ال نوعية التدريب تكون كامل الحيوية فيها تركيز كبير مثل ما يحدث في المباراة فال المدرب يكون ذكي في نوعية الحركة وليس فقط مجهودها ومجهودها وبعدين نوعية تستوي ضعيفة جدا لذلك هو يتكلم عن نوعية تنفيذ المهارة وليس الحمل الشديد على الحارس وينفذ المهارة بدون نوع جودة ممتازة كابتن عادل واضح؟ تسلم يا كابتن واضح شكرا كابتن زكريا السلام عليكم السلام مين معك؟ الكابتن كرامي تفضل كابتن معك المدرب مم. سامح لي دائما الطفل على الحراس المرمى لو تسمع لا لا ممتاز تفضل كابتن الله يخليك بس سؤال حبيت نسأله اللي يعطينا بسطة كيف يسوي البرنامج السنوي ماله خاصة عارفين انه في الحين طابع تكتيكي للحراس هو كيف يفزع اي مرحلة كابتن اي مرحلة والله من 14 سنة فما فوق أوكي. لانه تكون في اكثر امور تكتيكية هناك فالحراس أبعد. مطلوب منهم وانهم يكونوا مشاركين يعني في النواحي التكتيكية اوكي كوت وحاجه واحده لو تسمح تفضل تفضل مثال الحراس المرمى مش مطلوب منهم مثال كثير لانه هو في المرمى ما بيتحرك زي اللاعب المرمى الا زي اللاعب العادي فهل هو يعني الانديرونس ولا المق... <تصفيق> يعطاها جزء كبير من شغله ولا لا اوكي كوت شكرا بيفور لاست كويستشن ذس وان اباوت ذا يوز يوز سيزون تكنيكال بروجرام which the, which have, about the value, about the most important in this season, the whole the season. What about also the endurance? Is it important for develop, uh, develop periods? Yeah, I think, I think endurance is an integral part of, uh, of preparation, you know. The, one second, one second. Why endurance is so important is because once you once you start to to build uh, your top form, you know, you need to start from something. You cannot start from power because there must be a base for power, base for power, and then on power you build uh, the the speed and explosivity. You cannot build the, the speed and explosivity without the power. But before power, you need to build endurance. That means first what you're building on the beginning of the preseason is the endurance. And that's the only, only time when, the, when I accept goalkeepers to run the distances, you know. 
maybe that will be not the run like a players. They will have a specific runs, but they will have a runs. And after that, after you build the endurance, then you build the power. And then you have a man who will work every day on his power. And actually during this work with the power, he will never lose his endurance. اوكي يتكلم عن القوه واللي هي العامل الاهم لحارس المرمى لكن بدون تحمل القوه هاي تكون مش قويه وجودتها ضعيفه جدا اذا وجد تحمل ويقصد اول شيء نقدر نبدا فيه في الاعداد العام تحمل الحارس صحيح ما يركض الحارس مثل اللاعبين لكن لازم نبدا اعداد الحارس بالتحمل عشان تكون عند عند كفايه لتدريبات القوه ثم يقدر ينفذ المهارات لذلك هو يقول لكم التحمل اول ما نبني عليه الاعداد العام لحارس المرمى ثم تدريبات القوه عشان تنفيذ المهارات بشكل جيد كابتن زكريا الله يفضلك السؤال الاول ما جاوبني عليه اللي هو السؤال الاول كابتن اللي هو البرنامج اوكي وات اباوت سيز بروجرام سيزن سكيلز بروجرام سيزن وذ جول كيبر تكتيك يا تكتيك اباوت تكتيك بروجرام فور فول سيزن فور يوز جول كيبر تكتيك بروجرام فور يوز سيزن يس اي ويل سي اي ويل سي ذات يو نو اف يو هاف ا if you work with a really young goalkeepers uh, i don't know what is the age what what, what he worked 14 with. above 14 above 14 okay um, it goes like this in the beginning when you start with the kids like 10 to 12 they they are most of the time you working on on their technique you know Technique is most important because if you miss the technique in that period, then after that you cannot make that better. It is like a tree. Uh, when it's young, you can direct the tree to, to grow in one direction. After that, when the uh, tree is grown, you cannot move the tree. You, know? uh, you need to work a lot on your tactic, ta uh, technique during the youth, but once they approach once they approach to the senior levels once they coming to the senior levels then you increase the presence of tactic and tactic must to be uh, uh, how, synchronized with the head coach what he wants and what is the style of the game what he wants to play it's not easy to play the way how the coach want if you don't train that that mean tactic part of the tactic must be in synchronization with the head coach مهم جدا في السؤال اللي قاله كابتن اكرامي ان الحارس المرمى يدرب على التكنيك في البدايه عشان يقدر ينفذ اي تكتيك بعدين لما يطلع للمرحله الاعلى كابتن اكرامي لازم في البدايه نعرف اسلوب اللعب اللي يلعب فيه المدرب لان جزء مهم من التدريبات التاكتيك هو اللي يبغيه المدرب العام لذلك البرنامج هذا 14 طالع في جزء كبير من تاكنيك تطوير مهارات الحارس والجزء ايضا اللي فيه تاكتيك لازم نرجع للمدرب العام وندربه Ali, there is some topic, important topic for tactic, coach. Yes, yes. I will, I will say that for me, for a goalkeeper, tactic is most important positioning. Positioning is a, a highest uh, alert, you know. If the positioning is bad, then... And positioning is a part of tactic, you know. Uh, positioning on a corner kicks, positioning during the uh, set pieces, positioning... When when the team is when the team is in a uh, when the team sitting in front of the goal, that's very important. Also, how the goalkeeper doing positioning and also communication communication between him and the defensive players because this is the part of tactic too. Communication is very important part of the tactic. If there is no communication, 
There is no links between the pieces. There is no, uh, they are not homogene, homogene, you know. They need to be, goalkeeper is like a glue who make the whole team work together. Uh, it can even the tactic ان اهم شيء في التاكتيك في البرنامج السنوي لحارس المرمى اللي هو التمركزات تمركزات في حالات اللعب المتنوعه الكورنر الضربات الثابته الكره داخل الملعب الكره ملعب المنافس هذا شيء مهم جدا ايضا يتكلم اليوم من ضمن الاشياء اللي فيها تاكتيك وبشكل كبير التواصل الصله بين الحارس والمدافعين والفريق بشكل عام قال الحارس لازم يكون هو الجلو هو الصمغ بين اطراف اللعبه من خلال الكوميونيكيشن والتواصل اخر كابتن. سؤال لان عند كابتن السلام عليكم كابتن محمد كابتن. علي اخر سؤال بعد اذنكم لان الرجل تفضل كابتن الو السلام عليكم سمعني يا كابتن نعم كابتن كابتن في هو عمل الاول تدريب داخل منطقه الجزاء بالنسبه للحارس يلعب الكره برجليه يعني فهو كان في منطقه العمق وكان في اثنين بالون على اليمين وعلى اليسار وكان يلعب الكره بس ما الحارس ما يتحركش الا بعد ما اللاعب يتحرك من مكانه من ورا البالون نفس الحاله دي هو جاب حاله لعب عليها كانت حلوه كتير حارس المرمى بس خارج منطقه الجزاء وكان بيلعب الكره برجليه لاكثر من جهه هل التدريب يعني عشان يكون في واقعيه يدرب عليه الواحد داخل منطقه الجزاء ولا خارج منطقه الجزاء ايهما افضل بالنسبه لحارس المرمى شكرا كوتش اباوت ريلستيك ريلستيك تريننج لايك ذا جيم سيتويشن وات يو بريفير انسايد ذا 18 يارد اور اوتسايد ذا ديفنسيف لايك ذا جول كيبر اوتسايد 18 يارد what do you think it's better and similar than the situation for you? Realistic session sometimes is inside, sometimes is outside of the box. Uh, usually, usually we are inside of the box. And you can play the games like the goalkeeper is inside of the box. He using his feet whenever the teammates play back to him. There is no pressure. There is no pressure in the first stages. There is no pressure from opponent because we say that the line of the box is the is the border where opponent cannot cross anymore. That means they play, for example, possession between two goalkeepers, one on one goal, another on another goal. The goalkeepers are in the box and they play with the teammates. They press each other, but they don't press goalkeeper. After that, you remove the, the borders mm -hmm. and, and you say, now you can press the goalkeeper too, you know. Okay. That's the way how we improve the possession. In the beginning, it's not easy to play with the goalkeepers because they don't know in the beginning how to do that. But with the time, when they figure it out how to play it, then you add the pressure. كابتن يقول طبعا كابتن محمد يقول طبعا التدريبات خارج المنطقه وداخل المنطقه هم نفس نفس الاهميه لكن هو اعطى درجه كبيره ان اللاعبين لما يكونون داخل المنطقه اهم والاهم من ذلك ان تعلم الحارس ان كيف يلعب تحت الضغط وهذا يجي يعني ستيب باي ستيب خطوه خطوه الحارس اليوم ستيب باي ستيب ذاتس ات هذا الحارس الحارس لازم يتعود على الضغط How you say step sorry how you say step by step hapo hapo خطوة خطوة كابتن محمد والكلام للجميع ان الضغط على الحارس ايضا مهم برا المنطقه وداخل المنطقه بعد مهم لكن اليوم لان القوانين سمحت ان المدافعين يدخلون داخل المنطقه يعتبر داخل المنطقة أيضا أهم في كل الأحوال نحن نشكركم وفي استبانة كابتن زكريا نبو... كابتن كريم تفضل عندي سؤال بس سريع جدا أوكي آه، كوتش هلو مستعد أوكي 
I'm 17 years old goalkeeper. I trained under the hand of uh, Zakaria. And uh, I have a, just a quick question. When you mentioned the future goalkeeping, do you mean is it's it's the time? So when you mentioned the future goalkeeping, it's it's maybe after 10 years or maybe it's the what the scouters are looking for now or when when is it exactly the the, the future goalkeeping timing? Uh, I will say that future start now. You know, mm -hmm. future start now. That means. We want to predict what will happen in one year because, for example, we have now the new change of the rules. Now the players can step inside of the box. Mm -hmm. We don't know how it will influence the goalkeeper game because we still don't develop the new patterns, you know. We need okay. to develop new patterns in order to know is it better for us or is it worse. You know, the, for example, now when two players are closer to you, now it's easier for opponent to, to, to squeeze you, to, to attack you, you know. It's not, actually, it's not harder for them, it's harder for a goalie. Because now you will get the back pass immediately after you play the ball quick to, to your player. If he don't have a solution, he will turn and he, he will play you back. Yes. Okay, Karim. That's, that's something what we now figuring out how to deal with that. Karim, Karim Harith Benyas, who came to choose for the experience in Spain. Karim, ask him when he will start his future. His future is saying he will start from today because the rules are changing. So we have to change the future from today. Okay, thank you very much. Coach, on behalf of uh, all uh, participants here, I would thank you again for your timing, for your uh, special information you give us. With, uh, this is something uh, special today. You are here in Ara uh, Arabic goalkeeper coach. Coach, coach here, most of our coach here. Coach, uh, thank you. And uh, we would like you also to invite you again, but. Uh, I, we, we, we know you are a busy guy and we keep in touch always because yeah. we have uh, a big project here in goalkeeper Arabic country to improve ourselves and uh, to send somebody uh, goalkeeper, good goalkeeper in Europe. And, I'm, uh, happy, I'm happy that uh, I was a part of your uh, meetings. I think that uh, when you are together, when you're doing something together, uh, there will be results for sure. And uh, I was once in Saudi Arabia in Damam. We played the uh, IFC Cup uh, against uh, Al Ittifaq. And uh, unfortunately, we lose there. But uh, it was interesting experience to be there. Uh, that, that's my only experience with, uh, with Arabic, uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. I wish you all, all the best. Uh, Salam Alaikum. Yes, coach. Yes. Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Yeah, I just say I wish you all, uh, all the participants, all the best. Uh, happy, happy Ramadan. Salam Alaikum and stay, stay well, stay healthy, Thank and you. stay at home. Thank you. Okay, coach. Thank you again, and I send you the link about this uh, workshop. I recorded uh, most of uh, this workshop, and uh, we can see you later, hopefully with your safe family, safe, healthy, and after this virus, we will maybe meet together in somewhere to discuss more face-to-face. -face. <laughs> Thank you. We say, because I am in a B1 school, and we say B1, B first, and B winner. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, okay شباب نشكركم في بعد إذنكم في استبانة تحت بال فيها أسهم بولز ونحنا أيضا غدا عندنا محاضرة مع الدكتور جمال محمد علي في تطوير أداء اللاعب يوم الأثنين عندنا المصطلة الفنية اللي هي تقيس أداء الحارس هاي المصطلة الفنية نحنا في دورة إمارات تعبنا عليها حوالي ثمان شهور حتى تطلع بال إن شاء الله القيمة الفنية يوم الأثنين أيضا عندنا نموذج من مصطرة فنية في قياس أداء الحارس 
ان شاء الله بنطرش لكم الدعوات يوم الاحد ونحن سعيدين جدا بشوفتكم والتجمع هذا كان اكثر من جميل الكسندر من الخبرات الممتازه الخبرات اللي نعتز فيها رجل صراحه خبير ومتواصل ومتواضع اول ما ارسلت له الدعوه وافق على طول واي حد يبغى رقمه يتواصل معاه يدعوه في اي محاضره اخرى برسلكم ان شاء الله رقمه على الواتساب وايميله ونتمنى لكم كل التوفيق ونشوفكم ان شاء الله على خير <تصفيق>